Baruch Hashem. Today is day number 122 of our daily study of Rambam Sefer Mitzvahs. In the three chapters a day of Mishnah Teter, we are finishing Hilchas Kalayim, the laws of mixtures. That's uh, chapter 9 and 10. And then we're going to be starting a new set of halachas, which we'll tell you about in a second. God willing. Um, let's do the mitzvahs that correspond to the end of Kilayim. Okay, negative commandment 42, the prohibition against wearing a mixture of wool and linen, otherwise known as shotness. If you've ever noticed at a Jewish clothing store or sometimes at a cleaner in a Jewish neighborhood, and it will say, we check shotness. That's what that is. It's checking to make sure that there's no mixture of wool and linen. The common way that it'll happen nowadays is um, they'll use linen as a stiffener in a, in a wool garment. That's a common way that it comes up. But at any rate, negative commandment 42 is the prohibition against wearing such a garment. Okay. Now, we just finished Kilaim in the three chapters a day of Mishnah Torah. Now we're going to go on to a new set of halachas. Hilchas matnos aniyim, the gifts that are given to the poor, charitable gifts that the poor are entitled to. And the first of those is included here in our next mitzvah. Positive commandment 120, leaving the edges of the field for the poor, otherwise known as peya, the corner or the edges of the field. It's a positive commandment when you uh, bring in the crop, harvest your crop, to leave that edge of the field for the poor. Negative commandment 210 is the prohibition against removing the corners of the field. It's the prohibition against harvesting the entire field. You're not allowed to harvest the entire field. See the previous mitzvah, the positive commandment, you're supposed to leave the edges of the field for the poor to come gather. Uh, and the corollary negative commandment, 210, is the prohibition against harvesting the entire field without leaving any for the poor. Okay, those are our mitzvahs for today. We will see you again tomorrow, God willing.